What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I am back with another video. Before I start, if you guys could hit that like button and subscribe for more basketball videos. Your support is greatly pre appreciated and we have been growing really, you know, really quickly and, um, you know, throughout the season, for the NBA season, I'm just going to be doing a lot of uh, predictions, analysis, and all those fun stuff uh, throughout the season. So, today I'm going to be going over the USA versus Argentina recap. Um, I also will be, be doing a USA versus Spain preview for the next round, obviously the USA one, and uh, once I get the video up, a link to that will be in the description box below. I'll also try to put box score, the box score and the highlights um, down in the description below as well. So yeah, um, uh, yeah, the score was 105-78, USA uh, you know, basically crushed Argentina. Uh, the start. I'm just gonna go over the game really quickly. The starting lineups were um, for the U.S. They had Kyrie, Thompson, Durant, Anthony, and DeAndre Jordan. For Argentina, they had Campazzo, Ginobili, Nacioni, Scola, and Acuna. Sorry if I'm saying pronouncing uh, the names wrong. So in the first quarter, with 8:36 left, USA looked a little shaky. Clay and Kyrie had some turnovers, and Argentina had a 4-2 lead. Um, later on, Scola looked really good. He had four points to start with 7.03 left. Argentina had a steal, and Katie would, had a really bad pass uh, turnover. And um, Argentina at that point was up 8-5 to five with 6.33 left. Um, Argentina had a 10-5 to five lead. Um, and yeah, the U.S. started 2 of 10 from the field, which is very poor. And um, with their talent, they should not be getting up to like these uh, you know, shaky and really bad starts. So the, yeah, USA, they looked really careless at this point in the game. They looked really out of it and with 540 left Argentina was up 14 to 7 and Kyrie had just terrible defense on Compazzo who who was like just like driving and just scoring at will against the against the US defense and um yeah I think Kyrie at that point really needed to needed to be taken out yeah so 99 Argentina lead after a couple more minutes USA had some more turnovers and uh, after that Durant and PG Paul George started scoring bringing the US back to the game with some life and they eventually uh, cut the lead to three with 254 left and Cousins had two more free throws later on to tie it at 21 all. Cousins uh, scored some more and it uh, was a 25 to 21 lead after one so you know after a, a very poor start from the US they came back strong at the end of the first quarter to take a four point lead after being down 10 so that's a pretty big 14 point swing and uh, yes, yeah, so now we'll go to the second quarter, uh, 30 to 21 USA lead. They started off with some intense defense by the second unit. Uh, Cousins uh, was leading the way with scoring. Lowry was really good and, um, you know, playing aggressive defense as well as Butler was playing really nice defense, although he couldn't really hit too many shots today. But uh, yeah, but eventually Butler got the two and one to give the US a 36 to 21 lead for a 25 point swing, which is, you know, tremendous. Um, after a Kyrie crossover drive lay-in, uh, with 6.20 left, U.S. had a 40-27 to lead, and Paul George hit another three eventually for 18-point U.S. lead, and Paul George at that point in the game, and basically throughout the whole game, had some great hustle defense and was a great scorer uh, for the game with Melo being pretty off throughout the whole game. Uh, off a of broken play, Butler uh, got an easy two, 51-29 lead uh, for the U.S. over Argentina as, you know, Argentina was just ice cold. Um, you know, they're a pretty old team, so they're probably just, like, running out of gas. Yeah, so um, Argentina went on a small run after that to take a 50, to cut the U.S. lead to 56-40 um, or six by 16 at the end of the first half. So, you know, it looked pretty obvious, obvious that the U.S. were just off to a slow start in the first half or, um, in the start of the first quarter and it looked like they're probably gonna cruise to another easy win and yeah even though US had really bad three-point shooting it was still you know a huge US lead um let me just see yeah so in the third quarter you know US had some bad three-point shooting but um they were still up 78 to 58 with uh, two minutes left um I think that was from the second um or from the third excuse me um yeah with the third um, KD had some more threes, um, he had seven threes at that point in the game, which was, you know, tremendous for the U.S. who could not hit any threes, really, besides, uh, KD. Thompson was ice cold. Um, yeah, so, U.S. was up 87 to 61 
or 26 after three, at the end of three. So it was pretty obvious it was a blowout after that. And um, basically the U.S., you know, scrubs, I mean, they're really just, the whole team is filled with uh, great players for the U.S. So none of them are really scrubs, but like the worst players on the team would basically just like finish off the fourth quarter. Um, I only have a few notes for the fourth, 91-65 after, uh, at the 6-28 mark. It was a blowout, nothing much else to play for. Uh, later later on, they brought in, you know, Ginobili, Scola, Delfino, the OG, uh, Argentine, Argentinian three, uh, who have been playing for them for the Olympics for a long time. And it was, it was nice to see them uh, come in for probably what looks like the last time. And, um, yeah, basically it was a 105-78 to 78 U.S. win. So my analysis, obviously, is a huge win for the U.S. They advanced to, see, to play Spain in the semifinal round. And this was obviously an expected win, in my opinion. Um, I, I just don't think that Ar Argentina was really much of a match for the U.S., but they did play, you know, extremely well. You know, it is sad to see Argentinians, Argentina, excuse me, original team, you know, probably depart for now as Ginobili is probably going to play his last year in the NBA next year. And, um, yeah, but, you know, they came out strong, put on a good show, and it, it just wasn't enough at the end. So, uh, exceptional players, in my opinion, was KD, 7 threes. Paul George, great defense and offense. Lowry played some bulldog defense with uh, Kyrie kind of struggling throughout the game. And um, Jimmy Butler played some great defense as well. So that's about it. That's a wrap. Um, stay tuned for my USA versus Spain semifinal preview and prediction video, which I will, you know, try to try to do. I'm pretty sure I can get it done. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more basketball videos. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.